Hello and welcome to the first video in the series that explains basic principles of exploit development. I'm going to explain why I'm doing this series. There are plenty of resources out there, fantastic resources that go through the steps you need to take in order to be able to exploit a buffer overflow, whether or not it's on a Linux server or a Windows client. Where a lot of these falls down is explaining the underlying principles that people require to not be confused. You hear things like ESP, RIP registers, stack frames, prologs, epilogs, overflows, return address. And these things, if you don't understand the core of what they're trying to do, are very, very, very confusing. This series wants to help you get there on your own. It's to teach you the intuition of how the first people that exploited buffer overflows able to do it. And the reason why they were able to do it is because they understood the system. I'm going to start with the next video explaining about how computers work and what they are. 